Welcome to the Class of Service Lab Overview. In this lab, you'll configure and verify Class of Service functions. The lab assumes that you have just finished with the High Availability Lab and that you must reconfigure your device for a single homed site configuration. To do so, the device is reassigned to a previous template and therefore is reconfigured. To begin the process, you'll reconfigure your CPE device by reassigning it to the base template and by reconfiguring the bind data for a single homed site. Once you commit the template, the device configuration will be updated and you'll be ready to begin. The class of service configuration process consists of several steps that must be performed in order. The first step is to create QoS profiles that define how traffic assigned to the profile should be treated. The lab guide describes what profiles should be created and their parameters. Next, you'll create IPv4 rewrite rules that can be used later to rewrite the DSCP bits in some packets. Next, you'll create application QoS policies that identify traffic that enters the device and assign it to traffic profiles. You'll create a drop profile to determine what the device should do when traffic congestion occurs on the outbound queues. You'll create four schedulers, one to service each major traffic class. Use the parameters in the lab guide to fill in the values. This first set of schedules will be applied to the physical WAN interfaces. Once you're finished with the first set of schedulers, you'll clone each of the schedulers to create a separate set. This new set will be associated with the logical WAN interfaces, or the tunnel interfaces. This is done because drop profiles cannot be applied to logical interfaces. They can only be applied to physical interfaces. Be sure to modify the cloned WAN schedulers so that they don't contain any drop profiles. You'll then create two scheduler maps that will group four schedulers together in a bundle that can be applied to an interface. One scheduler map will be used on the physical interface. The other scheduler map will be used on the logical interface, or networks. You'll associate each of the scheduler maps to the corresponding interface or network and configure the outbound shaping rates. Then you'll verify that the class of service parameters have been applied to the device through the device monitoring tab. To verify proper traffic forwarding, log in to the testing node connected to your LAN network and issue the corresponding test scripts. The scripts generate simple ICMP messages with the DSCP bit set to predetermined values. You can then verify that packets are placed in the proper forwarding classes and queues on the CPE device. Once you've verified proper traffic forwarding, you'll configure an input shaping rate on the WAN interfaces. Once the input shaping rate is configured, you'll open a CLI session on the hub device and verify that the hub is receiving the advertised shaping rate. You'll return to your device to modify the advertising shaping rate, then verify the change is advertised to the hub. Then you'll return to your device again and enable adaptive shaping so that the device can automatically adjust the advertised shaping rate based on the inbound WAN circuit utilization. 